What is up, Rocket Nation, and welcome back for a brand new game. Our next game in the list of games here that I have got to catch up on. So uh, I have actually picked up Horizon Forbidden West, and I wanted to do a playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West, but I figured before I do that, I want to go back, refresh my memory on all the story beats for Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, I realize I'm a little bit behind, but I did leave this up to you guys over on Twitter. So if you're not following me over on Twitter at Real Rocket Sauce over there on the Twitter, you guys might want to go over there and hit up the follow buttons. Uh, there is a link down below in the description, but uh, I left it up to you guys. I said, if I were to possibly at one point in time, maybe hypothetically speaking, ever do a playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn here on the channel, what would I be playing it on? And I gave you the choice between PS5 and the PC. Everybody chose PS5, which I was actually surprised about. It was it was a very close vote, I will say that. But I was surprised most people went with, uh, well, the majority went with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn on the PS5. So we're going to be doing a playthrough here on the PS5. Now, I have played this game, as you guys can see, obviously, 70% progression. Um, I did play through this game when it very first came out, which was, I believe, 2017. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me. But this is 2022 now when we're doing this playthrough. So it's been five years since I've done this playthrough. I attempted to do a playthrough over on Twitch channel when uh, this game had first come out on PC. Unfortunately, there were some issues with it on PC and I ended up abandoning that playthrough and never actually went back to it. So we're going to start all over right now. Thank you guys so much for joining me and for all the love and support, not just on this game, but on all the games that we play here on the channel. Uh, it's absolutely insane to see how many people sit back and enjoy these videos. So thank you guys so much. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, Horizon Zero Dawn. All right. Text language, English, of course. Speech in movie language. <laughs> of course it's English. Display subtitles. I'm going to leave these on because I know a lot of people do enjoy the subtitles. I personally do not. But uh, if you guys want me to turn off the subtitles... Let me know. Hmm. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. Will the goddess speak it back? Gotta say it's looking good. It is looking very good. Normally it would be the mother who declares. If you had one. The whole village would attend and matriarchs perform the ritual. But... We are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation. Beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. One thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this one day. I 
by Matriarch Tirsa. What is she doing here? Does she mean to forbid the ritual? No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... <laughs> I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! <laughs> and so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I know my duty to them. Pride. And to you. Without consultation. Oh, I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. Rost is a bro. What a good dude he is. Horizon Zero Dawn. What a great opening scene that is, too. All right, so um, I do not have the Frozen Wilds expansion as of yet. We are going to be doing the Frozen Wilds playthrough, but I figured that we would go through a full new game before we actually move over into the uh, into the Hori or the Frozen Wilds expansion. So we're going to do a full playthrough of the main game, then jump over into Frozen Wilds expansion. Let's do this. Um, as far as difficulty goes, I don't know. I was in between. Do I want to play normal? I really kind of want more of a, um, I want to focus on the story. I want to focus on the story. I don't want to struggle too much. Let's go with hard? Question mark? <laughs> the toughest combat experience, the most increased enemy aggression. Wait, th this mode increases enemy aggression. Yeah, this one actually changes your, uh, the rebalances, the weapons and everything, doesn't it? A tough combat experience for those who really want to challenge. A more demanding combat experience throughout the journey. Let's go with hard. Six Aloy! years later. Aloy! Quite the gatherer, aren't you, little ghost? Now go and see if you can find some more. Hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on.
hear me. Some kind of cave? A gift from the past. New main story quest. Um, I gotta say, 60 yeah, FPS. Rats. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Oh, I can already tell we might have to turn down the uh, the old sound effects just a touch. Uh, it seems a little loud. Um, you know what? I think let's go that. I feel like that's probably good, right? Probably. Oh yeah, I forgot. Dodge. Looks tight, but I can get through. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Oh, it has been so long since I played Ross this game. Said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. But I can tell you one thing, I am so glad to be back in it. So glad. I forgot just how gorgeous this game is. It's definitely got its own uh it definitely got its own art style, that's for sure. <gasps> There's something up ahead. Oh, what's in here? Nada. What's that? A dead person. It's a dead guy. It's definitely a dead dude. There's something shiny there. Oh, uh, it is. You know what? It's been hundreds of years. It's kind of amazing that there's anything even left. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say this is hundreds of years after the fall of current man. So uh, the fact that there's anything left is really a miracle. Mummified. Augmented reality. Can you imagine how mind blowing that is for someone in these times with zero technology? She just put on a cheat code. She's cheating. Can confirm. Cheater. Lights. Everywhere. How does it do this? Toggle the focus by pressing R3. Would that be blast door heavily shield sealed seal integrity maintained? Yeah, that's pretty nutty. That would be absolutely mind blowing to a kid. A metal door closed. Maybe this device I found can help. Yep, already read that. More lights. Reinforced platinum conductor. Hollow lock. M electromagnetic security mechanism with standard holographic UI interface unavailable. For that. A little pitter patter of her feet. What is that? A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. Turn it. It changed color. Return to the door. All right. I'm eager to get out there, start hunting down some metal beasts. The door changed color too. What are the numbers up above it? I never noticed that before, I don't think, on the first playthrough. It's like a backwards four plus. I wonder if it has any meaning whatsoever. Probably not. And open! I did it. 
Um, I believe in order to get past these things, I think we have to have our staff. So I think we have to come back as grown-up Aloy in order to be able to get past that. What's that? You think I want it this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do is right behind you. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. And you can imagine how that is to this little girl who's being shunned by everybody. All of a sudden, somebody's saying hello to her. No matter how we know it's fake, uh, to her, that must be absolutely mind-blowing. She's hooked. She's hooked now. She's never leaving. Let's check over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, happy new year, dear diary. Can you believe we actually celebrated last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So there we sit watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I <laughs> seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. That was a log from Connor Chasen. Voice log recorded January 1st, 2066. So New Year's Day, basically. Um, data corruption, partial, only partial, not total. Wow, look at this. It's so, oh boy. It's so weird the way that it like captured the P it's almost like Pompeii, you know, capturing people in their final moments. I saw them lining up in the community room, like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Shauna handing out meds like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipsis. Hell, <laughs> an exclamation mark. So if that upsets whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone anything anymore oh data point full stop voice log data corruption severe data corruption and uh yeah so i think we get what happened there it didn't say a date on that one i wish that it did say a date so you knew if that was was that actual new year's day All right, let's make our way up. Rost! I would like to get all of the Why data points. Why did they die here? That's what, what happened to them? That's what I was wondering. Skylar Rivera, data corruption severe. And Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. I never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. Um, well. Ooh. Is there any more? I think there's one back here, isn't there? Yes. Connor Chasen? Again? I mean, seriously? Record our thoughts for posterity? Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be 
here like this if not for posterity. <laughs> it's got a good point. With posterity, posterity can go. Okay, <laughs> he does make a solid point though. Now these were all people that were here working uh, to basically save what's left of humanity. So yeah. Ella Pants. And maybe that's all I need, you know? That moment the door opened and you were standing there wearing that retro weave dress and the way you smile. I had to look away, are you gonna see? On my face. What had just blossomed inside me, you know? <laughs> it was just an instant, but I knew. I knew we'd be forever. A lot of people reliving that last moment of, you know, these people's lives. It's insane. Insane. A good touch, though. Making it hit home a little bit. Jackson Fry. And pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. I mean, uh, death. I'm sorry. It's been a while. And whoa, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top kids. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace. Wow. Mm, let's see if there's anything back here. I don't think there is. Yeah, no. I think that's it. And this connects to the other room. Nothing here. No. Aloy! 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 Ross found me. Ross found me. Down here. I'm coming. I'm coming. What? Oh, mother be praised. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! Sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. It's cool that he let her keep it. He could have easily taken it away. And with how strict Ross is to the laws, kind of surprising he didn't. Thank God he didn't. What do they mean? Take your bow. Bow? And enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. Frost has to realize it's not just a plaything, right? I think he said that more for his benefit than hers. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch, and I'll show you how to fill it. Fill it! See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. 
All right, gather the cell brush berries. Got it. Good. Now eat the berries. Uh, press up on the directional pad to transfer health from the medicine pouch to your health pool. Blech. <laughs> they may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of All Mother's embrace. Embrace. The Nor tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Look at the ants on the tree in front of us. I'm stuck. I'm super stuck. I'm not stuck anymore. Look at the ants going up and down the tree with leaves. Army ants. Further they down do the river, exist. we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. I love the way, like, if you're not moving full speed, she almost does, like, the skipping and stuff. Hmm. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. Crouch in the tall grass will make you invisible to unaware enemies. Get me in there. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. He's got the biggest boots in the history of boots ever booted. Oh, another one. Let it pass. Do it. this way the slower you move the quieter you'll be and crouched walking is quieter than upright wait for it freeze I feel like I'm clearly visible <laughs> that's the last of them let's move on we did it I'm officially stealthy and nobody can tell me any different. All right, where are we go? Are we going that way? You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Eloy's got the biggest kid head I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I feel like she just has a giant noggin. Ignore him. But why is he up there? He's smiling at us. Tab! Get back where you belong! Tab! Tab, that's his name. Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now, let's find that herd. Look at how hardcore Rost is about the rules. To the point where he was mad at that kid for just smiling at him. You gotta respect that about him, but also, yeah. Which I do believe they get punished too. If they were to speak to somebody who is of the tribe, there. they can... See them? These are called striders. Uh-oh. I believe they can be punished for talking to Get. people. Why'd you chase them off? <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Good. That's it. 
Those will do. Follow. More rocks. I want them all. Fill up my inventory with rocks. Rocks and flowers for healing. Yeah, there we go. Fill up the old pouch. 16% health added to medical pouch. Medicine pouch. There's another 12%. So the red give more than the pink. Can confirm. Aloy, over here. Oh, where did you go? Rost, where are you? There he is up Stop there. Stop wasting time. I'm not. You literally darted away from me. I'm just a kid. I have little Aloy, tiny legs. Come now. There's the herd. All right. It's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. We're good, right? <laughs> Let's get low. Aloy, throw a rock near me. Right there? <laughs> I might have threw it too far. You have to hold it. I might have just whipped it. <laughs> I might have just went for it. Oh, good job. Ross, that was top-notch work, bro. There. Come, girl. It's safe now. Well, let's come and grab these first. Harvest a kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Need to get my rocks back, Dad. All right. Loot take all. Harvest the kill, Aloy. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for arrowheads. Hold L1 to open up the weapon wheel. Um, select that symbol using the right thumbstick and hold X to craft. Max crafted. Good. So we can hold You'll 20. Never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. I like it. So I do believe we have to scan all of the animals too. Um, oh, maybe not. Stay down. I believe we have to scan all of the animals too uh, yeah. for an achievement. Stay low in the grass and be quiet. I'm assuming I already have that one, but I'm not sure. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. The Strider, one of the weaker machines, but even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study your prey. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable, like its eye. Can you guess another? Yup, scan it. Blaze canister. Hover your reticle over the enemy to scan it. Press R3 to toggle focus mode off. The canister on its back. Is that a weakness? Yes. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Dive roll! All right. Um, I, no, I want to read that. Uh, where was that? Would that be notebook? Data points. Nope, not that. Uh, machine catalog right there. Um, strider. Herd machines that will bolt when disturbed, so they must be dealt with silently or quickly. Body, hard outer casing to protect synthetic muscles and operational systems. Blaze canister, uh, blaze storage canister, shooting elemental canister canisters with elemental ammo triggers an explosion that will damage everything nearby. Shoot off the component to collect the resource inside. Fire, tear, so its weakness is fire or tear. And then uh, it tells you the loot that you get. So blaze, sparker, wire, metal shards, machine core small, strider lens, and strider heart. So these are the rare ones. And then these are the uh, the uncommon. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's take this bad boy down. Hit! Keep firing! Hit! 
it! Keep firing! I got it! Look what I did, Dad! So we get the canister. We got some blaze! Noise! You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick. Okay. What? The music. So tribal. This guy definitely looks better than what I remember it looking. That's for sure. Oh no. Teb's a goner. I ain't gonna lie, that was one heck of a fall. That's like a hundred feet. He's lucky to be alive. I can do nothing. It's only a matter of time before the machines find that boy and kick him to death. <laughs> very if graphic. Shoot, it'll cause a stampede and it will trample him. But I can see the path they take. Stop telling stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. Ah. Aloy. And there goes the bow. No option but to sneak now. It's pretty brave for a little girl, though. We'll just throw those over there. Can't let them see me. their paths oh yeah I should be using Almost the focus there. mode yeah go over there more wood there he is Clumsy. How is this? Shh. Follow me. Follow. <laughs> you move so How slow. Avoid them? I'm using my eyeballs. That's how I do it. <laughs> So R1 highlights their track, R1. How are you doing this? How is this possible? Here, let's throw that over there. Go over there, thing. Beautiful. Tab. We did it! Top notch stealth action. And pretty much the best ever. So, it is no plaything.
Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. B bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Uh, Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Wow. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. And you... Uh, <laughs> that boy should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Lessons of the Wild main quest completed. Oh, she right in the freaking eyeball. <laughs> Jesus. Stay away, no mother. This is, uh, I forgot about this. Yep, flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. How Elo Aloy expresses her personality is up to you. Choose the fist and Aloy will confront the challenge directly. Choose the brain and Aloy's will use her insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. And choose the heart for the more heartfelt way to approach it, apparently. <laughs> too fast all right so um i think no matter what i think i'm always gonna do this the same way from here on out so whatever i pick now i think i'm gonna pick throughout and uh i think i want to go with the brains i think i want to go with the brains knock the rock from his hand do it oh. got him hey take that Move boss them. Oh, you're bleeding. Let me have a look. Where were you 20 seconds Here. ago? Hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before. That's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It will be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me! The Proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the Proving. I see. We best get started then. Your training will be hard, and it will take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. You gotta love her enthusiasm. Like there's an object in the way. Let's let's remove the object. Montage time. Oh Jesus, Ross. Are you gonna hurt her? Oh, I forgot about hunting and everything, too. Oh, put it on the list.
I ain't gonna lie, that got me hyped. That got me hyped right there. I'm ready for this. I am ready. Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Level up, level three reached. A point of the spear, find Ross. We got plus three skill points and uh, max health plus 20 max health. Um, And I think that is where we're going to end. You know what? Before we end it, let's actually, let's do this. Let's do the whole level up thing. So we have three skills that we can choose. I think I'm going to go with silent strike. Without a doubt, seeing that one already. Oh yeah, I forgot about, oh, we can do the slow-mo. Slow-mo, very awesome as well. Silent drop. It's, it's so so concentration while aiming toggle oh this is the slow motion not just while you're jumping um critical hit there's another good one precision light spear attacks have a chance to no i don't think i want to do that one lure call use the exclamation point from the tools menu to lure a single enemy to your position the target will be oh wait the target will be the closest most centered in Aoi, aloy's view so center them boom Get him in there. Healer speeds up healing from the medicine pouch. And gatherer additional resources when foraging. Also could be very useful. Um, scavenging chance of extra resources when looting down machines. That could be another very useful one. But if I remember right, when making your way through, you end up overfilling your inventory a lot. And you end up being leaving more stuff behind than you actually uh than you need to spend on the scavenger and whatnot. So I think we're going to go with the lure call. Um, I think we're going to go concentration and then silent strike. I think that's the three that I want to go. So silent strike, concentration. I think the one after this one we're probably going to get is hunter reflexes. Um, and then this one, lure call. So there's the three. Um, next ones that I think we're going to take is probably critical hit. Um, that is when something's down, you press R1 for a high damaging attack. It's basically a one hit kill on, on most things. And then, um, the hunter reflexes, we are playing a little bit harder difficulty too. So this might be a little bit longer or it might take more than one hit of the, uh, the critical hit to take them down. But, uh, yeah, so there it is. Thank you guys so much for joining me for episode number one of horizon zero dawn as always if you guys enjoyed the episode make sure you guys give it a thumbs up share it on your favorite social media platform so that others may enjoy it as well and if you guys want to be notified when the next episode goes live all you guys got to do is be subbed to the channel and click that little bell notification icon and youtube will take care of the rest thank you guys so much and as always remember life is short pause save and i will see you in the next episode